Hi. Uh, today I want to talk about the uh, Linux uh, boot process. Here is a very good article I read uh, about from the meeting.com website, the Linux boot process. And uh, it has uh, two parts, part one and uh, part two. Um, so uh, basically, uh, the overall boot process is uh, something look like this. Uh, this is a, a very good uh, diagram for the uh, boot process. So uh, first, when you power on your computer, uh, uh, the, the BIOS is uh, going to be run. And uh, so, uh, but how, how does the CPU know uh, where the uh, BIOS code uh, located. So and uh, and this uh, uh, this this is something uh, uh, on the Wikipedia. Uh, you needed to you needed to know is the it's called a reset reset vector, and uh, here it says uh, reset vector is the default location. The CPU, uh, the CPU will go to find the first instruction uh, to execute. So, and uh, for example, for Intel uh, x86, uh, uh, it, it has a, a different uh, uh, memory location uh, to find the first instruction. For example, for x386, uh, 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 this is the this is a physical address. Uh, this is a physical address that has the location uh, for the first CPU instruction to run. Uh, it's actually a, the first instruction is actually a jump instruction, and. Uh, yeah, so so he, this good article you can read it through, and uh, so another another uh, good uh, resource is uh, uh, it's the Linux Insight uh, in the GitHub. Uh, it, it has more uh, technical detail uh, in this um, uh, Linux uh, Insight uh, from author. 0x uh, ax uh, repo and uh, so it, it has all the all the Linux boot detail uh, for example here uh, it also mentions um, when, when you uh, press the power button what happens next and uh, this is a very detailed uh, description and it also talks about uh, uh, the memory segmentation and why uh, why there is a, a physical uh, memory address for this for the CPU for the first instruction CPU uh, get it to run. Yeah, I I, I just want to mention those good uh, resource here so you can learn more about it. And uh, yeah, so it has uh, this meeting article has part two, part one, part two. It's uh, it's more in the theoretical side, and the the, the GitHub Linux side, Linux inside is more uh, technical detail side. A lot of uh, assembly language uh, uh, mentioned here, and. Uh, yeah, so so let let's look at the the overall diagram, the boot process. So first, the, the BIOS got to uh, run uh, the the post, like the, the firmware to exam uh, check all the hardware, and uh, then after that, after the post, it will run the you know, find the boot lo uh, bootloader uh, and to execute the bootloader, which most of the case is uh, say. Grab to a bootloader, and um, so the bootloader is is usually in the in the 
first sector uh, of your hard uh, drive, say when you when you uh, install operating system uh, Linux on your hard drive, usually you will have uh, like a boot partition, and uh, the boot partition is usually uh, in the first uh, sector of your uh, hard drive, and uh, so the bootloader itself has uh, usually has a stage one, stage two. Uh, so the, the stage two will find the will find the kernel uh, image uh, on the hard drive and uh, to boot the kernel. And uh, so all, all this uh, all this is in the uh, when, when the first when the kernel first startup uh, or the bootloader startup to run the kernel, it's in the uh, memory real mode, uh, it in a CPU real mode uh, or memory real mode, like uh, uh, usually it's uh, like 16-bit memory address. And after the kernel image is decompressed, uh, it will go to the uh, protected mode uh, with either 32 or 64-bit uh, memory address. So, uh, there, there are a lot of work uh, between here and uh, a lot of assembly stuff going on here. Uh, and uh, so uh, after the kernel image is decompressed, uh, the start kernel is the is a function to to actually start the kernel. And uh, after start of the kernel, uh, there there's this uh, rest uh, underscore init function start to run and uh, uh, it will uh, execute a, a CPU idle process uh, which is a uh, which has process uh, uh, ID 0 and um, that's a kernel uh, idle function yeah so so this this is in the kernel mode then after in the user mode it will uh, start the eventually it will start the init uh, process, which is the uh, process ID one, uh, which is uh, uh, the first process in the uh, Linux uh, user land. And uh, so, if you have any uh, user land process uh, or or child process that its father process. Uh, uh, did not wait for for child process uh, exit or, or check the status exit the status of child process. All those child process will become a zombie process, and the uh, and the the first user process ID one uh, uh, in it will be will will be become the parent of of all those uh, uh, zombie process. Yeah. So, and uh, so in, in this init uh, a function, it will start a, a lot of other uh, uh, stuff, uh, like all the kernel stuff, and uh, yeah. So again, BIOS, bootloader, uh, uh, kernel, uh, decompress kernel, and the start kernel, and uh, yeah. So that that's roughly the, the stage, and um, for example, I can show you um, uh, here. Uh, I can show you a, a Linux a virtual machine Ubuntu virtual machine, and uh, to show you the user GDB to show you the the uh, kernel uh, startup function. Right. So if I, so I have a, I have a, I have a Ubuntu 16.04 virtual machine uh, running on KVM hypervisor. So if I want to uh, debug this uh, kernel of Ubuntu virtual machine, I can run the GDB command here.
and uh, collect it to the virtual machine GDB. So let, let's give that backtrace here. You noticed? So so all the kernel source code here, and uh, you notice the the backtrace here. Uh, so this is uh, the x86 64 start kernel function because I'm running 64 bit uh, and uh, kernel. So this is this is the function in the kernel start kernel x86 64 start kernel uh, and uh, then the frame 10 is the uh, start reservation x86 64 start reservation so the, here is the start kernel the, st the uh, frame 9 and then here is the uh, rest uh, underscore in it, right? So, so that that is uh, exactly like this, like this diagram. Rest in it. Right. So first is the archit architect uh, archi architecture x86 uh, kernel start kernel function. Then it, it goes to the start kernel in the in the in the main in the main .c file. The start kernel function, the generic start kernel function. Then rest in it. Right here. And then uh, so here is the idle. Here is the default idle um, process. Here is the idle. Right, because uh, I'm using a, a GDB to debug the the virtual machine, so that's why it's hotted here, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, hotted because GDB is attached to it. Right. So also you notice uh, here is the source code. It's you can check. And uh, so, so this is a way to confirm how the kernel is uh, uh, booted and started. All right. Ho hope. Yeah, I recommend you read those through those articles, part one, part two, and the Linux uh, insight on the GitHub. Uh, this is a very good uh, uh, repo for how the Linux kernel works.